Hello, this is the Blakesleys, and today we want to show you our RV. So we're going to start with the outside. Uh, it's a Montana High Country mid bunk. It's about 41 and a half feet long or so, and like 13,500 pounds dry. So it is kind of a beast, but that's what you need when you are in it all the time. So first we have our outdoor kitchen. We really, really wanted one of these, but we have yet to use it. <laughs> we have used it for drinks, but that's about it. We have a gas cooktop out here, and we have one inside, so we just haven't used it yet, but I presume in the summer we'll use it more. It's just starting to get chilly in the evenings, and the mosquitoes are really bad, so we don't want to be out here with it. But it is super handy to have. <clears throat> oh, we do have some storage in here, so we have like the outdoor cooking supplies and some overflow paper towels and stuff like that. It's got a little cutting board that comes out, which is nice. Sorry, that's probably super loud. But it is really handy. Over here, we have our pass-through storage. It is super full right now. We just bought a ton of stuff for the business. We make graphic tees and uh, we do women's fashion and kids clothes and all sorts of different things. So it is full right now, but we have a ton of new shirts to make. So that will be super exciting. I guess I don't need to close it now. But the pass-through goes all the way through to the other side. So on the other side, we have like power cords and where we would store chemicals and things like that for the RV. So we have two coolers, but now that we have the outdoor kitchen, we don't really need the cooler anymore. We needed it in our old RV because the fridge was teeny tiny. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it on the outside. So now we're going to go inside. We have something to note actually is these, oh, I almost fell. These stairs, they come all the way to the ground. So they're stable instead of being kind of bouncy like most RV stairs are. Uh, the screen door is super nice use it all the time because of the kids. Um, they're actually outside playing, adventuring right now. I'm gonna walk backwards so you guys can see me when I'm, or hear me when I'm talking. Uh, first thing when you come in is the Mama. kids' room. Mama! Well, there they are. What? What? Say hi. Guess what? What? We saw hon my robot honey badger. Okay, have fun, I love you. Mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> what? What? We saw Guess a woodpecker. What? What? Last time we saw a woodpecker pecking on a tree. That's awesome. Yeah, but Henry was going to follow up, but we missed. Oh, dang yummy. it. Maybe, yum, maybe yum, be yum, nice yum, to the animals. Yummy! Yummy! Okay. Yum, yum, Back yum, to yum, the tour. You guys go play for a second, please. Oh, I'm oh, yeah. See you now. yeah, I'll be right there. Just a second. Um, in here, when you come in, you have all your control panels. The awnings, oh, I forgot to show you that. There's awnings on both sides of the camper here, on the main part and on the slide. All the slide buttons, they have individual slides, which is nice. And then your uh, tank mm, measurer? What is that called? I don't know. It tells you if it's full or not. That's, yeah. that's the most important thing. We have a solar system. We just have one panel up there now, but it's nice having it. And then it's prepped for a generator. And then we just keep a bunch of random stuff in here. So ignore the clutter. <laughs> in here, first off, is the mid-bunk room. Oliver sleeps in here at night. This pulls out into a bed, which is super nice. We keep all of their clothes in here as well, and we have organized that by um, day. So in each bin, it has, you know, socks, underwear, pants, shirt, everything that they would need for the day so that they don't have to dig through and make a mess because that kept happening. And then in this cabinet, we have overflow clothes so we can rotate through. What else? They've got a TV, which is really nice because then we don't always have to watch cartoons. A uh, fun fact, in our like 2,300 square foot house, we had one TV. And in our like 300 square foot RV, we have three. <laughs> but I guess you do what you gotta do. These are just bags of toys that we got to just keep the toys up off the floor. And I got these from Ikea. They're actually produce bags. But it works really nice for keeping our toys off the floor. Um, moving out of the kids' room, we have the main living area. We've got 
coffee bar, pantry, fridge, kitchen area, and then obviously the living room. So the dining table serves as a dining table, as a desk, as a shipping station, as a craft workstation. We kind of do it all. Homeschool, everything here. So it is very important. In our first RV, there was no dining table, and that was awful. We've got the reclining chairs here, which, let me tell you, they're the best thing ever because they power a recline and incline. I won't make you watch the whole thing, but you get the idea. It's awesome. There is dimmer lights here, but um, it's like a touch screen and it's really hard it's to use. It's the world's worst dimmer <laughs> switch. <laughs> I have been living in this RV for like a week and a half and I still haven't figured out how to dim it. I just know how to turn it on and off. So, that's annoying. This couch also turns into a bed. We obviously don't need to use it, but we can if we need to. We've got a whole bunch of storage up here. The cabinets are actually surprisingly deep, but it still wasn't enough, so I went to Target and got this storage ottoman, and we keep all of the kids' homeschool supplies in there, which is super awesome to just kind of keep them hidden and out of the way. We've got a super sweet gas fireplace here. Um, Electric. Or electric, thank you. It's not powered by the propane? See, it shows what I know, it's just electric. But that is true because the flames are very fake. But, moral of the story is, it's pretty when it's cold in the morning. We've got the TV, we've got some of our food over here, and then random storage over here, just like DVD players, and or not DVD players, DVDs. The DVD player is inside of here nice it pops out and this is also a radio and it controls speakers in here and outside but you can turn off the outside ones so everyone doesn't have to listen to the movie that you're watching we've got some chicken alfredo in the instant pot yum it's one of my favorite recipes it's insanely easy but we can talk about that another day in the kitchen we have the island it's got the sink covers which we almost always put on while we're cooking because it gives us more counter space. The microwave is full size, super helpful. There is not very much storage for plates, cups, and things like that, so we've kind of improvised here. It's kind of a disaster in there, but you get the idea. The oven has a gas cooktop, which is awesome, but the, or the stove, the oven itself is really tiny. It will not fit a full size cookie sheet in there. So, you can only use the little tiny ones. Uh, fridge is not a standard size, but it's bigger than the one in our last RV. Um, it holds quite a bit. We can still get a good amount of groceries in here. Like, I can do a real grocery shopping trip, whereas in our other RV, I could only grocery shop for a few days at a time. The freezer has this part open where a lot of RVs have it like a wall in between which makes it harder to store things but with it being open we can still fit quite a bit in there. We have a pantry. The pantry is mm, okay it's a disaster because they space the shelves so far and they're really narrow you can't actually fit very much on each shelf so you kind of just have to pile it all in there. The plan is to add shelves, but we haven't gotten that far yet. We've only been in this RV a week and a half or so. Yeah. Coffee, um, just right now junk drawers. This is where we keep all our glasses, face masks, because that's the thing we have to have right now. Coffee cups. I have to have a step stool because I'm short and all of these <laughs> cabinets go really high. So I just have a fold up step stool that we like move around <laughs> with me. So. Um, anything that I'm missing, honey, in here? Uh, oh, we all, there's also this little fold-up piece. Oh, for the island, yeah. Annoying. with It's folded in right now because first time we tried to fold it out, it broke. Yeah. All these screws that are in here and the little hinge piece ripped out of the bottom of here. So we need to get that addressed. Yeah. We have to take it in. It's brand new, but there's already been a few small issues that we have to have. That'll uh, be another oh, video. Yes, we will make another video. You can talk. <laughs> uh, moving upstairs, we do have a central vac, which is really nice. I'm going to get my feet out of the way. Um, 
it gets really messy in here. Like we just vacuumed yesterday and we already need to do it again. But coming up the hallway, we have a loft above the bunk room. And this is where Henry sleeps and where we also have to store the blankets for the pullout couch where Oliver sleeps. So it's always kind of a wreck up here, but luckily we can tuck it away. The ladder uh, pulls out, which is nice just because we can put it away when we're not using it, so we're not tripping over it all the time. Uh, moving down, we've got the bathroom. I don't know how you're going to have to come around the corner here. It's got this cool door where it kind of like hinges in the middle. Instead of on the side. Oh, instead but of on the side so you can make it through. And it's like a regular door instead of having a pocket door. A lot of RVs have pocket doors. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little echoey in here. And as you can see, although it has a separate bathroom, only one person can be in here at a time. It is not <laughs> both of us in here brushing our teeth at night. We kind of have to take turns. It's got storage in the mirror. Uh, I don't know if you can see. It's a good amount of storage in there. We've got more storage over here and they go like all the way back the way the depth of the shower so it's super nice I don't know it's in there it's probably too dark yeah let me see focus camera so there's all our towels and toothpaste and I love Costco stuff. so we have to find places for me to fit my Costco stuff <laughs> so but yeah it serves a good purpose it's got a decent sized shower Let's see, can I open it? Decent size is relative. Yeah, it's relative. It's decent size if you're five foot two, which I am. Austin is six foot two, and he has to duck quite a lot. Do you have to duck just just a little bit to get underneath the shower head? You can see it mm -hmm. up there. And he kind of has to duck through most doorways in the RV, just for reference. And then the toilet. Oh, yeah, the potty. Yeah. Nothing fancy, just a normal RV bathroom. But in here is our bedroom, and I love our room. It's got a king-size bed, and you can still walk all the way around. Mind you, it's not, I can't do jumping jacks on the sides, but you can get to either side to make the bed, which is a huge improvement. We've got a TV in here as well, uh, but as you can see, we haven't used it. Like I said, we only had one TV in our... Uh, giant house and then now we have three in here so it is what it is we just don't use it we've got a pretty decent sized closet and the only downside to the closet is that I can't get like I have to kind of climb in here to see all my clothes because this wall is here and you can't open it all the way but it's much much more storage than we had in our last closet in here is kind of a catch-all right now. We've got winter stuff, extra shoes, extra bathroom things. It would be where a washer and dryer could go. Yeah, uh, hook up, sir. Back there. there. Uh, and then you take the shelves out, and then you get stacking yeah. washer and dryer. However, they're really expensive, and doing laundry at the laundromat is actually kind of nice because we just go once a week, and we can do all of it at once. And so I haven't decided if we want to to change that or not, I guess it's a we decision, not an I. But, in my opinion, I haven't decided if it's worth it to go back to doing laundry every day when you can do it once a week, because I hate laundry. We have a little dresser. The drawers are pretty narrow. They're only about that wide. But they're deep, so you can fit quite a bit in there. It's got its own AC in our bedroom. In the living room has a separate one that does the rest of the camper. And they're fairly quiet. I mean, you can definitely tell that they're on, but they're not so overpowering you can't talk. In our old camper, if the AC was on, you, there was no talking. <laughs> you could not. You it was either AC or talking. Yeah. It was not both. It was really annoying. So, you can talk. I mean, it's definitely on, but you can talk. So and Underneath the bed? Oh, yeah, we have... Is, can you flip it up? Let me yeah, show them. Oh. It's uh, food storage. <laughs> so... This was most of the stuff that was in the pass-through, but now now, business um, stuff is. now the business stuff has taken over the pass-through. So all the extra food had to come in here. Again, I like Costco. This one is. Yeah. So that's our RV. We like yeah. it. It's fun. 
it's an adventure and we can't wait to explore more and work on our business and show you guys more of what we do. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys want to see more, we're going to be putting out some more videos here soon. We've got um, more organization tips. Yes, and we're learning lots and lots of ways to store things, which I wish I would have known even in my house. Yeah, and we're going to do a video about how we're homeschooling and the behind scenes of the business and maybe do some cooking videos and show how exactly we cook in here. Um, so if you want to uh, check out our business page, it's uh, The Mountain Daisy. Yeah, it's on Facebook. We have Facebook. We have a website, themountaindaisy.com. We also have a Facebook uh, page, The Mountain Daisy Boutique. And we go live on there every night. So that's if, you, if you're not getting enough of us now, you can come hang out with us and ch chat real time. So come say hi and... Yeah, we'll show you lots of new stuff. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Bye. Bye.